Hey guys, welcome to another video and thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this video is going to be slightly different. Uh, we're actually going to be discussing four manga volumes that I personally recommend for the month of October. Now, of course, most of these are going to be horror, if not all of them. Horror or not, I do recommend any manga fan to check these volumes out. Now, unlike my other videos, this video is going to be slightly different because I'm not going to be doing any previews of the volumes because I don't actually have them. That being said, I don't want you guys to think like, okay, so he doesn't own the volume, so how is he able to review them or give his two cents? Well, the thing is, I've actually read all these volumes in the past, and just recently they got proper Western releases. So starting off with number one, we're going to start off with a banger of a volume. This is Black Paradox, which is by the man himself, Junji Ito. Now, I believe Black Paradox did get some releases that were in both Japanese and French. Um, it was never released to a Western audience. This is one of the other volumes that I was really looking forward to getting as it looks absolutely awesome with the black hardcover. I'm really happy about the hardcover. I mean, of course, it's to be expected, Viz Media. So it goes without saying that the quality is going to be pretty up there. Now, the story of Black Paradox is actually pretty interesting and I do recommend it to any non-horror manga fan in fact there isn't a lot of scary content in black paradox in my personal opinion it's more body horror if anything the pricing is also pretty decent i believe it's about 26 dollars canadian um it'll probably be a little less for usd but considering you're getting a pretty thick volume with a hardcover and aesthetically the volume just looks absolutely beautiful from what i've seen in images it's it's definitely worth that price so since we're on the topic of Junji Ito, let's just segue right into his other volume that I recommend, my number two, which is Dissolving... I think I kind of said that wrong. Dissol dissolving Classroom. Yeah, Dissolving Classroom. Now this is a little different. I know there was a Dissolving Classroom released before it, which was a paperback edition, which I so happen to have right here. And uh, this was actually re-released as a hardcover. And it's coming out tomorrow along with Black Paradox. And by tomorrow, I mean October 25th, because on the making of this video, it was October 24th. So if you guys are lucky, you can go grab it tomorrow. Just go to your local bookstore and hopefully they have it in stock, because my bookstore sure as hell didn't. So I kind of regret grabbing the paperback edition of this volume. Um, I thought I might as well just wait it out, because I had a feeling that Junji Ito would release these stories as a hardcover, because he usually does. Most of his volumes are hardcover anyway. Either way, I will check it out and it's something that I'm definitely interested in buying and I will show a preview of that volume when the time comes on this channel. But I digress. Let's get on with the story for Dissolving Classroom. Story is pretty straightforward. These are two siblings here that cause trouble in their town. As you can tell, one of them is slightly crazy. If she has those crazy eyes as you guys can see right there. So wherever these two siblings go, really messed up and disturbing things happen around them. Pretty much disaster follows them. So that pretty much sums up the story for this volume. Um, the volume itself is compiled into a number of short stories kind of. So all the short stories in this volume revolve around the twins and how they affect certain individuals and their surroundings or the town itself. In terms of comparison to the hardcover, um, I don't own the hardcover, but from the details that I've seen, the hardcover is 192 pages, and this is 172 pages. So you're getting another roughly 20 pages, and I think there will be some colored pages in there, so that's basically it, because this doesn't have any colored pages at all. So it's safe to assume those extra pages will be colored, and they'll have probably some extras here and there thrown in. But aside from that, you're virtually getting the same volume if you want to get paperback or hardcover. But if, if it was me, I would I would recommend the hardcover, guys. Just don't settle for less, please. That being said, let's go right into number three, and that is going to be PTSD Radio. Now, this is also a recent release. Unfortunately, it's not hardcover, um, but it does compile volumes one and two of PTSD Radio. I believe this is going to be the first I want to call it an omnibus sort of because it compiles two volumes together but it's going to be the first volume in the series of i think three or four omnibus editions that are going to release the last one is going to release sometime next year so if you guys are looking to collect it you guys got a lot of time the first volume just came out um i have read ptsd radio before in the past and from what i remember it's just a collection of short stories 
horror short stories revolving around paranormal poltergeists and stuff like that. So it's like, if, you, if you're into Genji Ito, it's going to be something that's right up your alley. But don't expect a deep story, because like I said, they're short stories. If you like short stories revolving around ghosts, uh, entities, spirits, um, anything paranormal, then this is definitely something you want to check out. In regards to the price, I think it's pretty fair as you're getting virtually two volumes in one. Although that being said, it is a shame it's not a hardcover considering the price is fairly close to Black Paradox, which is also a hardcover. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I, sh I shouldn't be comparing the two. So let's blast right into number four, which is the final pick for my top four manga volumes that you should get for the month of October 2022. That was a mouthful. So number four is Be Very Afraid of Kanako Inuki. I believe I said that right. Now I just actually recently found out about this manga volume. I haven't previously known about this author. I did some research and I found out that she was known as the Queen of Horror. Now I find this kind of interesting as Jinji Ito was considered as the King of Horror. So now we have kings and queens. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, Yo, you said that everything you recommend on your list is something that you've previously checked out in the past. Well, yes, that is true. I, Although I had not known about this author, I did actually read one of her stories in the past without even knowing it. Uh, this was quite a while ago when I first got into horror manga and I was researching other manga mangakas that are similar to Junji Ito. So there were some other stories that she made that I came across, but I had to read them through fan translations, unfortunately, as pretty much all of her works have not been released in the Western audience or for, for the Western audience. In fact, I believe this is actually the first volume to actually come to the US. Unfortunately, I want to say that this volume is only 160 pages for the first Part. And uh, in my personal opinion, that is kind of short considering the asking price for this volume. Nonetheless, I can vouch for the quality on this manga as I did enjoy some of her stories that I read previously in the past. And I mean, she is called the Queen of Horror, so you can't really go wrong there. So there you have it, guys. That will pretty much wrap up the video. Those are my top four picks for the month of October. Um, there was plenty other releases so I had to kind of pick and choose but these were the only real horror ones that stood out to me and I wanted to share them because obviously October horror you get what I'm saying I will consider doing more of these type of videos in the future for like on a monthly basis just to get you guys up to speed on single volume manga or recent underrated manga releases that you gotta check out but aside from that, guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. Leave a like and a comment if you have suggestions. Um, aside from that, I will see you guys on the next one. This is Rich Taku signing off.